yeah. Well, we have, uh, I think Gibbs has, uh, is uncertain at the moment, and uh, Chamberlain has a test today overall, but I think overall the squad it was available, uh, and then he has joined in again, so we should have uh, basically, apart from the long-term injuries, everybody available. Good news about Mohamed El Neni, but did you expect him to be back so quickly? No, not uh, because it looked at the start a very bad ankle injury, but uh, he has uh, recovered well because he's a, a very strong boy and uh, very keen to come back as quickly as possible and it worked well for him. The FA Cup draw was on Monday, what's your reaction to getting Manchester City? Well, it's a tough challenge but uh, it promises a very exciting game as well because it's two teams who will uh, try to go uh, to the game in a very positive mood and uh, go for it, so it should be a very promising offensive game. Just finally from me, West Brom have already reached Tony Pulis' uh, target of 40 points, still 10 games to play. Why do you think they have been so effective this season? They have a big experience, they are well organised, they are physically very strong and very efficient as well on set pieces. I think it's a team who's got more goals than anybody else on set pieces. And uh, uh, they have, uh, I think, uh, this season they've uh, done very well in midfield. They have uh, played very well and up front as well. They have uh, Robson Canoe, they've Rondon, you know, we've done very well for them. So overall, I believe it's a very balanced team with a good size as well, uh, very equipped to deal with the, with the <coughs> Premier League. Good morning, Arson. Um, Morning. Has it been a happy week, a bit more positivity about the place as opposed to the, the negativity of the two so weeks before that? Yes, yes. Yeah. In what way has it been a good week then? Look, uh, I know that uh, uh, when you don't win the game you have a, not a happy week and uh, that's part of our job, you know, that's why uh, when you care about results, when you have not the results that you want, of course, it's not a happy week. There were protests from a very, very small minority of fans before the game against Lincoln, but the fact that they're happening at all, does that ever make you think... Yeah, look, I, I have nothing club? to say about that yeah. anymore. Every press conference is uh, about that. Uh, we have talked enough about that. But it must hurt. I mean, you've poured 20 years of your life. I've talked that. enough about that. Okay. Um, what is success for this club this season? Fourth place finish, third, second? S success, uh, it's not down to me to judge that, There's a leave that to you. And uh, our job is to do as well as we can until the end of the season. We want to play in the Champions League next season. We have a tough job because uh, you have six or seven teams fighting for the places. And uh, how well we do until the end of the season uh, will of course depend on that. And, uh, uh, on the rest, we are in the semi-final of the FA Cup, but we have an opportunity to do that as well. So overall, that's uh, our targets. After that, what is success is basically to do the take the maximum out of the potential of the team. Where is that? We'll see. Is Champions League qualification the bare minimum? Look, uh, nothing is good enough anymore. So anyway, uh, you try to do as well as you can. Can you just clarify the situation with Boris Morak <coughs> and his future? That's a complete invention. You know. It's just come from the weather. <laughs> it, it's good today to be, uh, you'd say anything and everybody uh, takes it without checking any information. Mm. Everybody just takes, takes it and makes a subject of it, but it's not serious. Fake news. Fake news. <laughs> um, his future's at the club. Is Hector Bellerin's future at the club? Because are you aware of interest from Barcelona? No. That's Just to extend the contract is uh, an unbelievable number of years to go. So uh, I believe there again, uh, uh, it's very difficult to take this thing seriously. Yeah. Um, just finally from me then, great goal from Alexis Sanchez last week against Lincoln. Will he be starting tomorrow? Is he now fully integrated back into the squad? I haven't picked the team yet, but uh, he has a chance, yes, of course. Arsene, awesome. uh, Leicester City, the only team left in the mm. Champions League, as far as British clubs are concerned. Um, what, does, what, what do you make of that? What does that tell us about the state of 
English football at the moment? Look, I leave that to you. I, I uh, was thinking that I will get this question today. And uh, I believe for me it's not the moment to talk about that. Uh, there are some obvious reasons, but I don't think that uh, people are really interested in it. And uh, that's why I prefer not to talk about it. Mm. The, the change in Leicester since um, uh, Craig Shakespeare was effectively appointed as Claudio Ranieri's successor has been quite amazing, isn't it, really? What you you, you uh, don't judge managers on three games. I think uh, uh, we live always in an instant world nowadays. Uh, and uh, uh, I don't uh, know him and certainly his top qualities, but. Uh, it's uh, always a manager is assessed over a longer period. Mm. Uh, has it surprised you though in the three games that he has been? Because they do seem to have a bit of a transformation, don't they? Look, uh, they have uh, certainly found back confidence. Leicester struggled a lot with confidence, but it's very difficult for me to assess that because when you don't live inside the club, it's difficult. Um. Is there a, a bonus incentive in place for the players, Arsenal, for finishing in the top four? We keep our uh, rules of uh, contracts uh, internal, you know, we don't uh, have absolutely uh, to say. There's always bonuses, yes, for achievements, that's um, true. Do those bonuses get removed if it doesn't happen? Yeah, when you don't... Uh, when you pay bonuses for achievement, it means if you don't achieve, you don't get the bonuses. How important is it to keep pace with the top four this weekend? For us, it's uh, vital, of course. Uh, we had uh, uh, recently... Uh, it's a strange championship because you have no continuity at the moment because we have games cancelled after you play away. Uh, you don't play, you play FA Cup and you play away again. So you don't really know where you stand, you have not the same number of games, you have not the uh, continuity home and away. But uh, what is for sure, you, we are in, the, in a position where we cannot waste points. You can't afford to lose this weekend. You can never afford to lose anyway, so, but uh, it's true that it is a tough game, because West Brom is traditionally always a very difficult game, but as well uh, for us an opportunity to uh, come back closer again to the position uh, uh, that is much closer to Chelsea. Thank you.